everyone and welcome to the April edition of Cindy's Crafty Corner. Spring has arrived, the air smells terrific, it's getting warmer, I can hear birds chirping. I'm very excited for spring and I, part of that excitement of course is all little baby animals that, birds and, and bunnies and things that come out in spring. So along those lines, I decided to do the bunny butt flower pot craft. So he's a little late for Easter, but he's just in time for spring. So this is what the, the craft will look like. And I'll show you the items that you would need to make this craft. So I got a little tiny clay pot. I use a little filler for the bottom just to, to fill in the space. You could also use a styrofoam ball if you have a small one. A flower for the back of the pot. A small square of white felt and a small square of pink felt, a larger puff. You could get these in lots of different colors. I believe this is a two and a quarter inch. Um, and then a little tiny puff for the tail. Then also just to fill in the pot, I have a little bit of Easter grass and to tie around the pot, a little piece of raffia. So that is our, those are all the things that you would need, and if you are picking up a kit, all of these items will be included. So let's get crafting. Okay, so let's get crafting on the bunny butt flower pot. So um, I'm going to start with the little, we have the little clay pot here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is actually tie my little raffia bow on here. So I just put a little dab of glue. And I am using my glue gun today, um, and I did include regular glue with the kit, and um, I made a bunny in advance with the regular glue, and I actually prefer it. I think that the regular glue, glue is less messy than, um, in this case, than the uh, glue gun. It just it leaves a lot of strings, and it just just seems to be very very messy in this case. So I actually, yeah, I really prefer just to use regular glue. So we're just gonna kinda tie our little, well, it's not the best bow, but it works. Tie our little bow, I'm just gonna clip off the end here. And then um, what I'm gonna do is place a little glue in the bottom of the container just to hold our, our filler. So I'm just gonna tuck the filler in and the next step would be to put a little glue just on the edge of the pot. And we're going to take the large puff ball and put it so that it's in the pot, but there's a little bit hanging out. And then just kind of spruce that up a little bit there. Then I'm going to add his tail. And we're just going to... Put that on there as if, as if he's diving down. For the paws, I did these in advance just because it was getting very stringy with the glue. But you have a, uh, if you have the kit, you have the little piece of pink felt and you have a little piece of white. So you would cut the paws out and then just kind of, um, these were so small I didn't want to draw them out. So I thought you could just kind of make, you know, what you, what you think is the right size of a little foot pad and then three little toes on each foot. So I'm going to just put those on and we're going to put them halfway on the bunny and halfway on the the little clay pot. So I'm just going to stick those on there and this way it looks like he's diving in there for a tasty treat. <laughs> and then um, what that leaves is a lot of space here. So this is where our Easter grass comes in and I'm just gonna put some glue inside and we're just gonna fill that little void there with the Easter grass whatever amount looks like it's enough to you just whatever you like however you prefer it and I think that's enough that's enough for me so <laughs> I'm gonna stop there and then lastly this is such a, a cute but simple craft. 
I'm just gonna put some glue on the bottom of the flowers and then just tuck those in all the way down into the Easter grass and the um, filling at the bottom. And actually, I, now that I look at it with the flowers in there, they're a little top heavy, so I'm just gonna add a little more Easter grass to hold those up. And that's it. The bunny butt flower pot is complete. So that's it. I hope that you have as much fun creating your bunny butt flower pot as I did, just in time to decorate your home for spring. As always, don't forget to read. And if you're interested in getting your vaccine, be sure to sign up on the AllVax website. It's important um, so that you can get an appointment to get your vaccine. And I will see you next month for the May craft, and I look forward to it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.